Dominico101MMA.com. Domenico with Bill Newcomb from Hard Knocks Gym, Muay Thai in Everett, Mass, north of Boston. Brand new facility. Uh, how long have we been open here? November 1st. So we opened November 1st. Uh, I took a lot of footage here and it's a beautiful gym as everyone can see. Um, fresh everything. It's a beautiful place. Uh, it's It's got that new car smell. <laughs> so Bill, uh, you have another facility, another gym uh, in Hyde Park. Yeah, the first location was in Hyde Park. Okay, now how long has that, that gym been open? Um, that one we opened three and a half years ago. Okay, and you've, you've you know, produced a lot of great Muay Thai fighters there, and yeah. now they're, they're, you've opened up this gym because now it's easier, you're expanding. So yes. now you're hitting, you can hit more fighters from different Right, different well, I live, I live in Revere, so... This is, uh, I'm, I'm bringing it home, basically. Okay. Uh, you know, when I started doing Muay Thai at Fairtex, we were in Revere originally, and then we moved to Dorchester, and then I went on my own, yep. you know, 16 and a half years later. Okay. <laughs> and three, what, three, three and a half years at yeah. the other place? And in three and a half years, you opened up another, yep. another yep. facility. So, yeah, I mean, and you're producing... A lot of good fighters, a lot of great fighters, uh, young up-and-comers, professionals, amateurs. A lot of them have fights coming up. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, who, like the, you have a couple of fighters uh, on the 14th, and then you got a, a, a fight, a fighter fighting for Lion fight in Vegas in, in February. Right. So let's talk about uh, uh, Jay Lucky a little bit because he's fighting on the 14th. Um, well, I started training Jay Lucky about six months ago. He was with North Shore Muay Thai for a while. And uh, when they closed down, he needed a place to go. So we started doing lessons basically in my driveway, and uh, and then settling to Hyde Park. And, yeah. But now that we're over here, he commutes to here, and we train here. And he's like he what he's told me he's only been here a year and leaping. He's been, he's been training for one year. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's got ten fights in a couple of what a couple of smokers or. or yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's up. I think it's ten fights. Yeah, yeah, ten fights now. in a in a year. And <laughs> that that that's the way Muay Thai is. This isn't MMA. You don't sit on the shelf for six months and wait. We try for not to. I you, I, you stay I, busy. Yeah, I try to put the guys out there as as much as I can. Once once they're able to fight, mm -hmm. once they start fighting. Um, right now, I'm turning events down because I, I'm getting so many calls for fighters. Yeah. Uh, in February alone. I have shows in Vegas, February 3rd, in New York, February 4th, Mohegan Sun, February 4th, <laughs> February 11th. So you're, all, you're, you're, you're in high demand. For, you, have, you, got a, you got a lot of your fighters here. I got a lot of fighters. Now, what do you look for? Like, when the fighter comes to you or you hear about a fighter, or what do you look for? Like, how, how can you tell, all right, I, I want to train this kid. I know, I know this potential here. Well... I'd say 75% of the guys walk in the door and say they want to be a fighter, mm -hmm. and out of the 75% that say it, you only get about 10% that actually become fighters. Okay. You know, legitimate fighters. Yes. Anyways. Most guys, they're like one and done, want to try it, see how I did. Experience. And then, yeah, just go for the experience. Yeah. And then, they, you know, the training itself, like for a fight camp, is, is probably more intense than the actual fight itself. You know, but we have to make you ready for it. So yeah, you're, you're simulating a bunch of fights right. on the way up there. So right. uh, you know, these guys coming off the, you know, see who think they're fighters or even uh, MMA guys who really didn't 
or you know dabble too much in Muay Thai they come in here and just do straight Muay Thai it's a whole different world yeah, it's so completely different. just you know everything the, the, the distance you got to keep and everything it's just it's the, it is it's completely different for them coming to us yep. and it would be the, the same yeah. if one of a uh, Muay Thai guy wanted to do MMA yeah. it would be different for them you know it's either one is good it's its own discipline yeah they're totally um, different sports it's just we focus on striking yeah and uh, I've been doing solely striking for you know 20 years but yeah I've been doing martial arts since I was 13 yeah and, and this is this, <laughs> this is your call and Muay Thai the Muay Thai is where it is yeah. this is like I mean the other combat sports I mean they, they're all great and they're so, but Muay Thai is a true just that stand up right. uh, just that battle just right. that, uh, it's just you know back and forth return counter you know it's just great it's great action non-stop the way they set it up just the the way the pace of the fight itself is exciting and uh, you learn so much about te techniques and uh, that you don't see like in other combat sports. Yeah. It's, it's just still, amazing. It's still a little fast, yeah, like fast paced in the amateurs. Yeah, you know they still they still need to slow it down a little bit to actually get a lot of that technique out. Sometimes when they first, all they do is punch and kick and they just crashing yeah. into each other. Yeah. And, it's uh, a little sloppy looking. Yeah, there. it yeah. Take, takes a few fights to work the kinks out. Yeah, <laughs> to kind of take your time a little and yeah. set them things up. It takes a little time. Yeah, a little bit. You know, you go in slow and the other little guy comes <laughs> out swinging. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it takes a year, sometimes it takes three years. Yeah, it takes fighters. Time, so, and you got them in all levels. Yep. Like you, I mean, in here, I mean, there's blood fighters from all levels. you got guys looking for fights yeah. who actually, you know, this guy right behind us, what's, what's, what's his name? Amadeo Cristiano. Amadeo Cristiano, he's got 66 professional fights, lived in Thailand for two and a half years, and uh, he's Brazil's national champ, and we're trying to get him a fight now. So all you people out there that are going to be tuning in, and you will, this dude needs a fight. He's got 55 fights. Yes. So let, let's get him on board. If, if anyone's interested, contact Bill. Yes. He's, he's busy, but he's looking to get this guy a yes. fight. So that's a high priority right here. So Bill, I'm gonna let you go. I, I, anyone want to say thanks to any any uh, uh, yeah any shout outs? Yeah, if, how, uh, how, for social media, how we get here. Uh, you can come up Route 99 near Mike's Roast Beef. We run the road runs parallel to Mike's Roast Beef. We're on the back side. It's 167 Bow Street in Everett, and we have a parking lot in the back. So you don't have to look for parking. We have parking, uh, which a lot of gyms do not have. Both my locations have a parking lot. I literally drove here and it took me three minutes to park and actually get to the door. So it uh, takes, uh, I think, about eight minutes to get here from like uh, North Station area. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Now social media, uh, how we get in touch, how, our website. Hard, yeah, hardknocks.com or hardknocksboston.com. Um, we have Facebook at Hard Knocks Boston. Okay. Yeah, Hard Knocks Everett. And uh, just to let everyone know, on the 13th is the weigh-ins for yes. the No Boundary fight. And yep. what time are the weigh-ins here? Do we, uh, we have the weigh-ins are yet? 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, everybody is welcome to come and meet the fighters, check out the camp, um, take pictures of the fighters, and just get ready for the show on the 14th. All right. Well, from Hard Knocks, Muay Thai, and Everett, uh, right out north of Boston, Mass., uh, Bill Newcomb. His new facility, which looks awesome, creating uh, beasts as we speak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we'll all, uh, we'll see you on the 14th and uh, and beyond because you're all over the place. I am. <laughs> so for Dominico 101 MA, uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Yep.